Hey. So. So. Use that to put voice to videos. Welcome everybody, project at hand today is I need to install a earth spike I've got this earth spike and it's going to go into the corner here and it's gonna then be connected to my solar system on the roof there using these aluminium uh, rods so let's get started So I'm going to measure about 600 millimeters from the sides so that I miss the foundations of the building. So what I'll be doing is draw a hole there and chase a, a line down in the concrete at the bottom that will now cover it up with concrete again and then these the minimum rods will basically go up on the wall all the way up bend underneath out of the roof and connect onto the solar system at the top there okay i'm going to start by just uh, getting a better mark on where to draw and where i'm going to put in the small trench in the concrete i'm going to do start with uh, off the side here around 600 millimeters And I want to draw it 600 millimeters from the side as well. The train should run in a straight line all the way to the side here, parallel to the wall. Feels like I'm through. And now for the dusty bits.
That was quite dusty. Okay, now that I've got the trench cut into the concrete there, I open up the hole a little bit there, so it's just easier to connect the aluminium tubing onto the earth spike. I'm now going to drill the holes for the aluminium holders that's going to go into the wall. I'm thinking about uh, putting them in increments of say about 600-500 millimeters to 600 millimeters apart. So I've got the laser set up on the wall. I'm not too sure how clear it will come through on the camera, uh, but I've got it uh, level and I'm just going to start measuring. Just quickly grabbing my ladder.
Okay, next up, I'm going to start driving the earth spike into the ground here in the hole. Let's start with small hammer. I think I need to get my helper to help drive this in. Go. Thank you, helper. No, no, don't, no, not that hard. Careful, careful. Okay, take out. Take out. No, no. <laughs> High five, tag. Out. <laughs> Thank you. Like this. See, small. Your turn. Small. Not hard, small. Yes. You don't want to eat that part. I need that part. Okay. Now, my turn. I'm going to do the bigger hammer. Careful, slowly. Okay. There we go. We're done. Yeah. Yeah, I can pull it out. No, you can't pull it out. It stays there. Okay, so now I've got the trench duck. The first piece of uh, aluminium rod is on the wall there. I need to make a piece that's going to go from the end of this aluminium rod all the way through to the earth spike. So what I've done is I did it off screen. I took this uh, piece of aluminium, I heated it up and bent it into a shape that will fit in here. So I think that will work. I'm just going to uh, dig out the edge of the trench there a little bit more with the drill. And then I'm going to make a piece that I can extend. It will fit in the end there. That I can then extend that rod around the roof. And connect it onto the frame of the solar system. Okay, next step. I need to put a 45 degree bend in this to get past and then another 45 so what I'm going to do is I'm off camera it's a bit awkward over here just going to quickly heat up this bend and then use this just to measure to make sure it's 45 degrees okay back in a second okay so I was successful in making the 45 degree bends now it's time to put it up and see where the other wall holders needs to come in oh. Brackets. Okay. Not too bad. Something to work with. I'll just uh, manually bend it a little bit more out so it doesn't touch the cutter. Next step, draw some more brackets into the wall.
Okay, next up is to just put a little bend in this so I can come over, then I'll make a extension. I just want to wait for the chopper to come past. Okay, back to work. So first up, I'm going to just heat up the end here, so that I can actually put a bend in easier. And then I'll use this tube to put in some bends that I'm going to be fitting onto the sides over here. And we've got another visit. I've got the market next to my house here in the public park and I suspect he's probably gonna come for a landing. Okay, let's get started. That's not good, made it too hot. That's fine, I'll then put a rather a bend in that goes in there. Using a popper bit just to keep the two together. Okay, now I just need to just quickly go get a longer popper bit that I can use to tie that down. Okay, so I ran out of uh, the longer popper bits. So I'm just going to take a self tapper and screw this in. Perfect. Now that's connected to the frame. Okay, next, just to prevent water from seeping in there, I'm going to take some bitumen and just coat it over here so that uh, no water goes into the tube over here. I don't think that should be to do the trick. Okay. Up next is I need to look at the connecting the aluminium rods onto the earth spike. I drove into the earth thing. 
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put a coating on the inside of this copper spike using this uh, soldering filament to try and prevent any chemical reactions between the aluminium and the copper while inside of the uh, cement here. What I'm also going to do is just put a, a lining of isolation tape on the aluminium tube that's going to be residing underneath the concrete. Okay, so I'm just covering the section that's going to be in the concrete with isolation tape to prevent any possibility of a chemical reaction between the cement and the aluminium. So there you'll have it all the way. Perfect. We can install it and then cover the end, the side of it. Perfect. And as soon as I pour the concrete, I'm going to put a little piece of plastic over here to prevent any reaction on this side here. But first, let's try and put a liner on the inside of the copper. Should have actually done this before I throw it into the ground. So I'm just going to put uh, a okay, it looks like I'm starting to get it to stick on the inside. See if I can get you closer. So you can see, uh, not sure how good the light is going to be on the inside and on the rim. There's a silver coating. Let me just grab one of the other cameras, see if I can get it close up. So you'll see here all the way on the inside nice coating everywhere so that should help prevent any abnormal chemical reactions between the aluminium and the copper okay let's get this back in there clip it in there needs to go in there like that and then I need to, without burning myself, it does not in there and tighten down. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like it's not a very good nut. Now well, there's your problem, the thread on this nut is stripped, so I take it the thread in there is also stripped.
Okay, let's give this one a try. Perfect. And that's it. So next up is going to be, I'm just going to close off this with some duct tape, so there isn't any severe reactions or any reaction between the cement and the metal pieces going in here, the brass and copper and the aluminium. Okay, next up, I've got a quarter of a bucket of uh, premixed cement. Just need to add some water and then start filling the hole. Let me go get some more premix and see if I can save this mixture over here. Okay, here's some more premix. I think that should work. Just gonna let it stand for a minute and quickly get the spray bottle with some water. I can just wet the surroundings a little bit. Water bottle. Okay, let's start pouring the concrete. Please, no comments about darker nights.
Okej. Okay. Ja, det blir det bra. Welcome back. It's a couple of weeks later. You can see the concrete's nice and dry. And this is just some quick drone footage to show you what the Earth bike looks like. Enjoy. Wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick. One thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up